Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Lily Rose. Today I'm going to have a quick Q&A session with um, Josh here and um, he'll introduce himself in a moment. Hi. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Introduce okay. yourself. So my name is Josh. I'm a university student from South London. Um, I study computer science. Um, I'm 22 years old. In my spare time, I like to uh, play games. I trade uh, cryptocurrencies online, so I'm interested in that industry. And yeah, that's just a little bit about me. Okay, so you're in your your final year at yes, university. Yes, I'm in my final year at Loughborough University. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so, tell me a little bit about the course, because that's what we're going to focus on today. Okay. So, when I went to Loughborough, I decided to do a foundation year because I had not done a A level in maths. So to get onto a computer science course, I had to do an extra year. Mm -hmm. And the foundation year can be probably described as an advanced version of A-levels. Okay. So it's more broad and we covered economics and um, geography, but it was in a university setting. Mm -hmm. So once I completed and passed that year, I now started the official computer science degree. Mm -hmm. And within that degree, we learn different languages such as Python, HTML, Java, JavaScript, C, and many, many more. There's too many to even name. Mm -hmm. And each year, they split in two so the first half of the year there's a few modules and the second half there's more modules mm -hmm. and each year we're test at the end of each semester sorry we're tested and we were given coursework sometimes individually or as groups and we'll work together to solve tasks and for our final year project we're able to choose a task that we want to solve ourselves mm -hmm. and basically build it okay yeah so what have you decided you're going to build so for my final year project i've decided to build a tourism website and it's focused on ghana because that's where i'm half from mm -hmm. so it's going to focus on the resources and the events and the bookings and stuff like that for tourists mm -hmm. and it's also going to have features where if you access the website from a different country you're able to automatically translate the website it will automatically translate into your, your language and it will also show events relevant to you so it's not like a typical google translate feature it actually locates where you are and shows the relevant information so okay. that's what so if does. somebody was from india yeah that's, that's, that's a perfect example and there's different states in india so mm -hmm. they have different um, languages yeah. would that you yeah. know like malayalam and hindi mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah so the would... site would work by locating exactly where in india you are yeah and it will translate the whole website to that language and it would also show for example a good example is china because chinese new year is in towards the end of january so if a chinese person wants to access the site uh, at that date, mm. it will show a happy new message, new year message only for the Chinese user, but okay. anyone else, it wouldn't, they, they wouldn't see the message. So those are the things we learn throughout the year and build up on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's really good. It's quite interesting actually. Mm. So what made you think of choosing that? For my final year project? Yeah. Well, initially I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do for my project, but we're given an advisor and our advisor recommended to do something that would interest you and challenge you. Mm -hmm. And building websites does interest me a lot, so I decided that would be a good Thing to focus on mm -hmm. so he also is specialized in doing the translation features and he recommended that i could implement a feature such as that so he's helping guide me and teach me to do those things so that i can do it to the best of my ability okay that's yeah. really good and you mentioned that you went to university with a um a as a foundation year yeah. student and that's because you didn't get the maths um mm -hmm. because, so what do they actually if you went straight into computer science mm -hmm. what do they actually ask for okay the main requirement for loughborough and most universities in the uk is a uh, a level in maths mm -hmm. because i had not got the a level they offer a foundation year where you complete that year and then you're able to go into the main uh, course but the main thing is getting a uh, grade in maths that's that's the only requirement pretty much okay okay that's quite understandable because I guess you've got to have a lot of um, um, working out so yeah I can add to that actually in first year and second year there's a lot of mathematics modules and mm -hmm. at Loughborough we're not actually allowed to choose any modules for the first and second year okay. it's only in our final year that we choose a module so during first and second year I was learning and relearning a lot of maths because a lot of modules were focused on maths so first they had the foundation offer because I didn't do the maths degree a foundation year was required for me to go there and mm -hmm. because of their um, accomplishments and their teaching standards it all made it seem like a good choice so I thought this would be quite a university that's worth um, making the extra effort for doing the extra year just so I can be part of that environment okay. so that was one of the main reasons I chose them. Okay, that's good. And um, so is the course up to your expectations? I would say overall yes the course has been quite it's been a great experience the course has offered a lot of new learning for me 
with many opportunities for even extracurricular activities mm -hmm. and events for us uh, computer science students to partake in such as hackathons and learning um, experiences. Mm -hmm. Throughout the years we've had a lot of support from our um, our lecturers where they contact us and they check up on us if we need any additional help and they provide additional learning resources for us to learn more. Mm -hmm. um, we've been able to learn uh, many many languages as I said earlier so yes it has been a great experience and lived up to my expectations for it. Expectations. Okay that's good and also how I guess the environment's changed because when you initially started, which was before the lockdowns happened and you had the induction and everything and student life was totally different, yeah. how have you coped during the lockdown? What's the studies been like in, yeah. you know, in the lockdown? Yeah, the learning experience has changed drastically. Before we had in person, as you said, and we'd go to the lecture halls and we'd learn and interact with um, in-person lectures. So we were still there going into the lecture hall. However, we were socially distanced and there was gaps between us so we couldn't communicate with each other. We couldn't communicate with our lecturer, mm. but we were still going in person. Then as lockdown fully kicked in, we were sent back home and we were doing online learning. Okay. So with the online learning, they provided a live stream that we would access and we'd be taught the same as in person. However, we'd all be on a stream. We wouldn't have to show ourselves on camera, but there was a live chat where we could ask any questions mm -hmm. and ask for further information. And they also provided us additional support via emails regularly and we could schedule a meeting as well if we had any problems. So mm -hmm. it has been quite a different experience. However, it hasn't been too bad as the university has tried to um, provide all resources possible for us. Okay, they've yeah. been quite accommodating. Yeah, you, very, they? very. And so is it a hybrid environment now or ha you know, have you gone back to been in yeah. lecture rooms etc yeah. or still online classes so previously a few months ago it was a hybrid learning experience whereby all lectures you could either tune in via live stream still or you could attend in person with your mask mm -hmm. however now as lockdown is starting to ease up and restrictions are uh, ending they want us to now return to in-person teaching with it seeming like all exams and everything will as well be in person in the future okay Okay, and so when does your course finish? Because everybody says it's three years, but yeah. you don't actually have all three years <laughs> yeah. there, do you? Yeah. So the actual finishing date for my course is June 10th, I believe. Okay. I have the final year project that I talked about that will be finishing in May. Mm -hmm. And then we have our few exams after, and then after that is summer, okay. and we will get our results later on. Sure. Yeah. And so what are the opportunities awaiting mm -hmm. you? I would say by studying a degree in computer science there are quite a few opportunities available because the industry is not so, there's, you learn so much on the degree, there's so many avenues you can follow, you don't actually have to follow a career in computer science mm -hmm. so you could potentially go into finance and banking and all sorts of different areas. Mm -hmm. Me so it's giving you analytical skills? Yeah exactly, yeah, okay. exactly. Even some of the modules I do are related to business so mm -hmm. it'll be how you run a business and how you conduct a business so it's not solely just everything is programming, coding, mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. it's actually loads of different um, opportunities there. So I would say I personally want to go into maybe website building for companies or software building and app building because that interests me a lot and there's a lot you can do with it mm -hmm. and there's also a good wage in that industry mm -hmm. so I'd try to focus on that and maybe something to do with developing in cryptocurrency as okay. well and learning those languages. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay that's good that's good so if I wanted some help on crypto <laughs> yeah, of course. I'll come yeah. to you. <laughs> Okay, and do you have any key learns, you know, key takeaways for a prospective student that, you know, yeah. coming in in September or, mm -hmm. um, you know, what, yeah. what, what, what can you give to them? I would say the main thing is don't be too nervous when you're going to university. Everyone's quite friendly. There's a lot of people just in the same situation as you who are maybe coming from abroad as well or even people within the UK, everyone's quite happy and open. I would say, welcoming, sorry, and I would say to prepare yourself I would say study when in your spare time whenever you can especially if you're going into computer science mm -hmm. take the time out when you have some spare time to maybe an hour a day an hour every few days to maybe learn a few languages because you can get yourself ahead and at university it's very easy to get behind mm -hmm. so put in the extra effort before you get there you'll be in lectures and you'll be like oh i recognize that i already know how to do that and it's quite a, it makes the experience so much more easy mm. i would also recommend polishing up on your math skills especially if you're going into computer science as that can be quite heavy within the first few uh, first few years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. That was lovely. Lovely chatting Thank you with for you. Having me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everyone is able to find um, get good information from my interview. Oh, yeah. definitely. I'm sure they they will. And I think you've given quite a lot of 
um, information there. So, the, and especially with the key learns, and also the fact that you, you know, you mentioned you don't actually have to have a maths mm -hmm. A levels to get mm -hmm. into the subject, mm -hmm. especially if you choose the right university yeah. you can do the foundation yeah, sure. year but you have to work hard to make yeah. sure you complete it exactly. so that's also a good you know good good source of information and thank you josh no and, problem. Um, thank you for having me <laughs> <laughs> we'll end it here i hope you enjoyed today's session with um, josh here our final year student and if you haven't done so already, I hope you like and subscribe. And um, if you've got any comments, do remember to put them in the section below. Look forward to um, seeing you next time. Thank you. Take care. Bye.